recording. You basically ascertained that we're all in a microcosm that's yep. been created by a man who's managed to put planets eight sectors away from each other just because. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Uh, we've worked out from, I'm just like taking a look at the list now. Um, I'll just copy this into the chat for everybody to see. Um, basically, this here is a map or a list of all the closest stars. And as you can see, the average is about eight AU light years. Oh, sorry. Not eight AU, sorry. Eight light years. So um, there is, you know, on average, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's 11, but most of them are around the eight, nine, you know, seven to nine, that sort of area. So if we were to uh, take a grid, and put down stars. Obviously, we don't use zero 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 because, according to someone else, it used to be um, a, a black hole there, which was removed. So there's no star at zero zero zero. But everywhere else, it's every eight. So if we were to say the distance between most stars is eight light years, then we could assume that each sector would actually be a light year in terms of scale with the real universe. Now that means that at one light year per sector. If you were to travel, because we were trying to work out the scale involved here. So if I take us to a quick picture of the Oort cloud, which is uh, uh, basically in our solar system, we've got this tiny little blue thing down the bottom here. And that, that there is, is uh, that's us. And as you can see, the orange belt, that's the typical orbit of the uh, Cupia belt. And then the yellow, that is the typical uh, orbit of Pluto. So I'm just going to copy that one in the chat for you guys as well. And um, effectively, what, what you're looking at there is the scale. I've got another picture to show you. Um, this one's a little bit larger. So here again, we've got a picture of the solar system. And on here, you can see the orbits of Mars, Earth, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter. I'm just going to copy this one into the chat as well for you guys. Okay, um, and effectively, we're just going to move over to the next one. If you can just see, this is the scale. So there's Mars, uh, there's the asteroid belt, and then here's the orbit of Jupiter. So we're now going to zoom out, and we've got the next one. We've got the Cupia belt around uh, around Neptune and uh, all that the Pluto orbit, I believe. Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, orbit of Pluto is in purple, um, Neptune is in blue, Uranus in green, Saturn in yellow, and then finally Jupiter. So that was the picture that we were looking at before. Okay, and now we're going to zoom out again. All right, so this is still our own solar system. So now we're going to zoom out again and see this. Now this is the map that we were looking at before. Okay, with the red orbit being Sedna, an asteroid which um, uh, orbits on an elliptic orbit which is quite, goes really far, it's sort of 12,000 year orbit or thereabouts, okay? 12,000 years for Sedna. And now we're gonna zoom out again. Now this is the orbit of Sedna and the blue fade is the edge of our solar system, what we know as the Oort cloud, the inner edge of the Oort cloud. So the distances involved here are huge, huge, massively huge. Wow. So you can't just go from one planet to the next planet like they're next door. You can't just go from one star to another star like they're five minutes away. That's not, you know, so we live in a scaled down universe when we're playing in StarMade. And so what we decided to do was uh, have a little bit of fun with numbers. So the speed of light is 1.07 times 10 to the 9 kph. We're in kph because that's what we're using. We have a speed of 80 kph on our server. So we decided to time at max speed ship traveling from um, the edge of a sector to the other edge of a sector, like a not you know like a running mile sort of test. So he's at full speed, he crosses the boundary. We start the timer, and in the end, I believe the time was what was it in the end? Sixteen seconds. About that. Yeah, so sixteen seconds to do a light year. Now, you know, if you were to accept there is a light year in every sector which would make the spacing of stars correct and if we were to take 80 kph as our top speed 16 seconds for one light year there are 3.15 times 10 to the 7 seconds in a light year so just by doing some simple maths we can determine that 80 kph our speed with the ships is actually when scaled with the universe size <laughs> um, 
a big number. 591 billion 300,000. Hang on. 591 billion 300 million kph. So, just to express that for people, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 5.9 times 10 to the 11. Sweet Jesus. And when you consider Jeez. that... This Oh yeah, that's the other thing. We could do a little bit of scale. We might do that for a follow-up episode, but just by those figures, considering the distances that we travel at the speeds we travel, and then considering the distance between celestial bodies as a point of reference, the top speed of 80 kph actually equates to something close to um, six times the speed of light. I think, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's way more than that. Time. Hang on. So we have a top. We have a speed of 590. Right. Okay. We're going to try and do this with Google because this will be fun, right? So it's 591, 300, 000, 000, 000 right? And then we're going to go divided, <laughs> divided by another huge number, the speed of light, 10, 900. Zero, zero, zero. That's what the speed of light is in kilometers per hour. And then this is what we get. So that's how much faster than the speed of light we're traveling. 54,247 times the speed of light, bro. Um, I think, oh my god, is an understatement then. So this is the problem. The problem with wanting FTL, because I want FTL. I think it would be awesome. But the only problem is that the current scale of the universe means that we're already we're doing, doing we're already doing 54 times light speed so uh, that was an interesting little thought experiment so uh, I'm gonna uh, leave it there and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah if anyone wants to comment below I'd be really interested to see what anyone else has their think on that um, obviously we've taken a point of reference of uh, the real universe with an average of eight light years which is lines up with what we have in the game and then use that as a point of reference um, and when you consider the vacuous spaces between orbital bodies and the fact that there are not there are none in you know we, planet star planet 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 you know what I mean it's the universe is not an empty place in star made and so yeah um, it's an interesting one so uh, thanks everybody for joining me on this one and uh, I will see you all next time